Hey everyone, Michelle McCarthy here from Homeschooling in the Pines. Welcome back to my channel. Today is week two of our Hispanic Heritage Month series that I am hosting with Ingrid from Mamiya Mia Homeschool Chronicles, Heidi from Boy Boss Mama, and Vani from uh, Mrs. Mom Homeschool. So each week for the for the Hispanic Heritage M uh, Month, we are going to be sharing a so, something about hispanic heritage last week we did a recipe and this week we're going to be sharing uh read aloud so you can do with your kids about hispanic about you know hispanics and hispanic contributions and so i'm going to share those with you so make sure to check the playlist below so you can see what we did last week and the books we're doing this week and then you can continue to watch the videos that we're doing till october uh, Hispanic Heritage Month is from uh, September 15th through October 15th and where we just celebrate Hispanics and what and the contributions that they have made to the world okay so so let's get started so make sure you check that playlist after you are done watching this video so I just have a couple books uh, here uh, the first one is a uh, miracle it's a it's a Christmas book I found a library it's called miracle on a one, 133rd Street by Sonia Manzano Okay, so it seems like here is a, a little boy that, uh, you know, he just uh, finds, you know, people at a pizzeria. They, they go, you know, to a pizzeria to have their Christmas dinner, I think, and then nobody has any, you know, Christmas spirit. So I think, I think that was that the book is about. So this is that one. This one is Roberto Clemente. We did read this book last year. Uh, it's called Pride of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, this is about a, uh, uh, um, not about, uh, Roberto Clemente was a baseball player from you know, Puerto Rico and he died in a really tragic plane crash uh, at a really young age. So, uh, so this is a great book um, just to learn a little bit more about him and the great things that he did, okay? Next one I have is I Love Saturdays y Domingos uh, for, by Alma Flor Ada. So this one is about a little girl that she, her mom is uh, Hispanic and, or her dad and, and, so, and, and the, the other, you know, the other parent is American. So she gets to spend Saturdays with her American family and Domingo Sunday with her Hispanic family. So it's just, this is really cute. We haven't read it yet, but it looks like it's a really cute book. Okay. And I still read, uh, you know, and you're probably, you know, n noticing I do have a seventh grader, but I still do read, you know, picture books with her. I think picture books are a great way to, um, to learn, you know, history. Great, they have very rich uh, vocabulary. So never be afraid to, to read picture books to your older kids. I enjoy them. My daughter enjoys reading them. And they're just great, especially I like reading um, picture books for history. They're a great way to teach history to your kids with great vocabulary, beautiful pictures. So never, don't be afraid to keep reading picture books to your older children, okay? Uh, this one is Portraits of Hispanic American Heroes, Juan Felipe, Juan Felipe Herrera, and this one is just uh, short biographies about his different Hispanics, okay? So this is just a couple pages, so you have Desi Arnaz here. So we have a picture, and then you have a very short biography about two to three pages long, okay? To read about Hispanic American, some Hispanics, okay? This was great. Uh, this one is another picture book. It's called Tito Puente, Man Mambo King, Rey del Mambo. This is a bilingual picture book. And this one has really cute pictures. You can learn a little bit more about Tito Puente. Okay. Very famous mambo player. He was great. I think his son plays music now. Or his grandson. Uh, Sonia Sotomayor, A Judge Grows in the Bronx, La Juez Que Creció en el Bronx. So this one's really good. It's also a, we read this one yesterday. This one is a uh, bilingual book. So I read it in Spanish. My daughter read it in English. So it gives you a little bit of background about um, our, our um, Supreme Court Judge so Sonia Sotomayor. So it's a really great story because I didn't know much about her. So it was great to read it. So again, learning so much from a picture book. And this one I have, this is Latin American Folk Tales. And this one just folk tales from uh, Hispanic countries and Indian, you know, and some Indian tr uh, traditions. So it, it, this one doesn't have pictures. So it's just different folk tales from different countries. And from, like I said, from also from Indian traditions. And the last book I have here, I got it for art appreciation. It's called Arte Latino. And uh, it has beautiful pa uh, pa uh, some paintings, some sculptures, of sculptures that are from the Smithsonian American Art Museum. 
and in one page you see the sculpture or the painting and in the next page it tells you who, who, who did the painting or the sculpture and it tells you a little bit more about the painting a little bit more about the background of the painting like yesterday we were we we did one uh, we we studied the the three kings and we talked about the three kings i have my great grandma used to have this beautiful wooden um um three kings that are still in my family and they're beautiful and when i was talking to her wondering i wonder if the same people that this this ones were the ones that did the one my grandma had because my great you know they were my great grandmas i think my uncle has them now um because they were from the you know 1800s to 1900s so it could be you know done by the same people so it's you know it's pretty neat and it gives you a little bit you know backstory about the three kings and and about the the you know the uh the wooden kings in here okay so this is really good we're just gonna go through a couple of these and find the ones that we like you know looking at and we'll read a little bit about them a couple of them have you know maybe not a completely appropriate pictures because i think you know this is an, a book you know for adults it's not a kid's book but we just browse through them and look through through them okay so this is all i have for uh hispanic heritage month read aloud so we're gonna read them throughout the month when we do our morning time and when we have free time and my daughter wants to read them independently and next week we are going to be sharing about a his uh, famous hispanic person so i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to show that to you and the week the last week we're going to be doing poetry uh hispanic poetry tea so i'll be sharing a couple books that i have and i'm thinking about doing a a yummy treat for you guys so so thank you so much for watching make sure you check that playlist below and check the latest channels if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscription button and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos i will see you soon bye